Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I've had a couple questions on my 12 volt uh, inverter generator power source, whatever you want to call it. The homemade thing I made. Um, people want some wiring and stuff on it and want to know what alternators. Um, Dan, uh, pretty much you can use any alternator that has an internal regulator. Like I was telling you in the comments, as long as you know how to ignite it. Um, the GM Delco alternators that I have, the one in the video where I made this machine is a GM. It's either a 10SI or a 12SI. I'm not sure. They're the same. They're pretty much the same ones. I think that was a 10SI, but um, now the one I have on there now is a GS, a CS, a CS 130. So. In the original video, I had a uh, 10SI, AC Delco GM 10SI, and the one that's on there now is a 108 amp CS130. But as far as alternators, um, I'll show you the 10SI, 1012SI is what's on my truck right here. And it's probably the same thing would be on on your dump truck Dan uh, it's got the two plug right there so it's got the two plugs there this one right here number two is the one you have to put your switch on to turn on the alternator um, I've got a diagram I'll show you for that and then I'll show you over here how to how I wired it all up on the mine with the CS 130 but Let's go over here and look at that. Cause I needed I needed some more amps. So I got me a CS130 and these were these are the early CS130s. They were in things like Cadillacs, big cars, stuff like that, and stuff with a lot of electronics on it. But um, it looks the same as the 10 and 12 SI. It's just a CS130 because it's 108 amp and it's got a different internal regulator. But that's it there. And you see, you see how wide this is compared to the one that was on it. Now here's how I got it hooked up on the back. This right here is your battery terminal. It'll say BAT on there somewhere that runs to the positive positive post on the battery okay right here is a ground that just goes to the housing of the, the alternator it was a threaded hole takes a 5 16 by 18 bolt that's the negative side that goes to the negative side of the battery okay now to turn this on with the 10 or the 12 si I'll have to show you on this diagram here. Remember I said it was the number two. Okay, you see here, this is the back of the 10 SI, 12 SI alternator. That plug I showed you a while ago on my truck. The number two terminal. And it'll say either R, F, or one and two. You take the number two terminal there. You put it on a toggle switch. You hook that to your positive on your battery. I'll let you look at that a minute and then of course you have your battery to your positive and your ground to your negative on your battery but go ahead and freeze that and look at it and that's for the 10 and 12 SI GM Delco alternator like would be on uh, mid to late 80s GM products okay now the cs130 you got two different styles you got the older one it's about the same size as the uh 10si and all that but it's the early one like i said this would be on a cadillac like a 89 to 90 cadillac something like that or a truck something with a lot of electronics in it then you have your later 
see that's 130 those are the same thing you do pretty much the same thing here you put your ground right here you got your battery would go to your positive post on your uh, battery ground go to the negative post on your battery and then right here you see you got P L F S and the F is also an I I don't know if you can see it but it's P L F I S and the F and I are in the same terminal the F I is the one you would put your switch on to turn your alternator on and off I've got that on the diagram too You see, you run your, run your, your big wires the same way. Run the battery, the B A T, to the positive post. Run your ground to the negative post of your battery, and you come off the I F terminal to a switch to the positive post. Now back up, and let you look at that. Okay. But like I said, you got two different styles CS CS 130s, and this it's the same alternator right here, just on that little car over there. Just some of them had higher amps and all. But that's pretty much it. It's it's pretty simple to, to wire it up. And then I got I got this right here. That's to run my winch and my uh, power inverter. And I just took and made that up with some short pieces of cable and uh, soldered those ends on there. And then you can buy these on eBay. Let me see if I can. It's a 175 amp, 600 volt. But you can buy those on eBay. You can get the whole thing, everything for like 15 bucks. Anderson Power Products. Just look, Anderson Power Products. 175 amp 600 volt connector and they'll come up um, and then I just got it wired negative side to the negative and the um, positive to the uh, there I was gonna put it up here on the battery but I figured with it running the winch and everything it would work better coming right off the alternator and plus it's kind of would be out of my way if I needed to need to use jumper cables or everything up here but that's pretty much it it's pretty simple wiring you see I got that one right there hooked to the FI and you just run it to a switch because that turns you and that turns you that ignites your alternator turns it on makes it start charging and you can turn it off um, you can just run a wire from here to here but it stays on all the time and if you're not using this every day it'll run your battery down I, I did that on the first one and it killed the battery but um hope that helps you out and if you got any more questions anybody's got any questions just uh y'all send me a pm or put it down in the comments or whatever all right i got work to do y'all have fun peace out